At the west of China, there is a cave forms a system of 492 temples, 15.5 miles southeast of the center of Dunhuang, an oasis located at the religion and the cultural crossroads on the Silk Road in Gansu Province, China. It is one of the three famous Asian sculpture sites of China. This is Dunhuang Mogao Cave. Of the 492 caves, about 45,000 square meter of frescoes and over 2,400 Buddhist sculptures have been preserved in this dry desert climate. Reflecting the convergence of influence in this area, the architecture in the caves are a mixture of Chinese, Central Asian, and the Indian styles, which is more apparent in the earlier Pre-Tang caves. Cave 328 is an example of the melding of two different styles. The sculptures in this cave date to the Tang Dynasty, but the ceiling and the warping knees are from the Song Dynasty. Inside are three statues of Sakyamuni flanked by two disciples. The artist who worked on the sculpture to emphasize that. Sakyamuni wasn't Chinese. Painted a typical Central Asian face on the statue. To the right of the symbol, Sakyamuni is a proud-looking Anna, one of Sakyamuni's favorites. Standing to Sakyamuni's left is a skinny Jia Ye, his face showing the lines of a hard life. Caves 98 and 100 are also clear examples of two different styles in a single cave. For architecture enthusiasts, Cave 96 is a highlight. This is one of the largest caves and has a 34.5 meter tall Tang Dynasty statue of Maitreya, the Buddha of the future. Only the core of the Buddha is rock. The rock in this area is extremely soft and unsuitable for carving. The craftsmen and artisans had to use a terracotta-like plaster paste over the rock, from which they would mold and carve the, the intricate details. Smaller statues use a wooden skeleton that was then. Covered in wheat husk, reeds, hemp, and the mud before being smeared with plaster. Once carved, painters would paint them with lively color, bringing them to life. Not many of the Tang Dynasty sculptures that were made this way have survived, making these remaining ones highly valuable and a force of preservation efforts. The warpini are definitely the big draw at the caves. If the pinnies are lined up end to end, they would measure 25 kilometers. The pinnies are so important as a historic record that scholars have doubled the Mar Martin Library. Social hierarchy, traditions, clothing, even music and dancing have been the subject. Of Asian painters, the different traditions and how they've evolved have been clearly recorded. From important life events such as marriage to martin activities like farming and business transaction. Caves 47, 112, and 220 have better examples of these paintings.
Thank you for watching. I'm Francisco. I'm Jeff. See you next time.